video. In this video, I'm looking at addition and subtraction of number bases. Remember, I started looking at bases for uh, this video is for the upper primary pupils, those children who are in grade five, six, seven. This is the video for them. I'm going to explain on how to uh, add two number bases, base ten, and then I'll go to base seven. Base ten is the base that we are familiar with. We usually they have you have to look at the place values. Okay, so these are the ones, the ones at the end, and the next one are the tens. If we had numbers there, we would have had hundreds, we would have had thousands, uh, ten thousands, and then the basis continues just like that in base 10. Okay, so now we only have two digits there, which is 76, and the other one is 54. All right, so these are the numbers that we are adding. So we start adding from there. So what is 6 plus 4? 6 plus 4 gives us 10. We do not write the 10 there in base 10, okay? So you write your 10 there. This is what we usually do. And then we divide it by what? By the base itself. So it's in base 10, we are dividing it by 10 because it's the base 10, okay? So we divide it by 10. So what is 10 divided by 10? We get 1. What is the remainder? The remainder is 0. The remainder, which is the zero, it is the one that we write there. This is how we do the base 10. This is how we add, okay? We move on to the tens, okay? So now, after I write this zero, before moving on to, to, the, to the tens, after writing this zero, the, the answer that you got after dividing the quotient, or the quotient, which is one, you carry it, you put it there. Okay, because it is one ten. That's why you are taking it to the tens. This is what we do in base ten. All right. So now here, what you do next is you add the tens also. So what is seven plus five? Okay. So seven plus five, that is, it's going to give us twelve. So that is the twelve. Remain, remember, you carry the one. Okay. So this one you add to twelve, which is going to give us thirteen. So our answer is 13, okay? So even here, what do we do? We do uh, the same way, okay? We, have, we say 13 divided by 10, okay? So 13 divided by 10, it gives us how much? The answer is 1. What is our remainder? Our remainder is 3. This 3, the remainder is the one that you write here. There's no any, other, any other number to add this one to. So what do you do? The same one is the one that you, we usually put there. So you put it there since there's no any other number for adding there. So that becomes your answer. So this is what we usually do with base 10. Okay. It's just the same way with the other bases, but it's just that you have to take note of the base whenever you are adding. So we go to the, the next example, which is base, base 7. Okay, so here we have 5, 4 plus 3, 6, base 7. If you want, you can even write there, base 7. Okay, then you can even extend the line like that. Okay, so this is in base 7. We start adding. How do we add in base 7? Okay, so 4 plus 6, okay, so... 4 plus 6 is equals to 10. What is the base? The base is 7. So what you're going to do is your answer, which is 10, you are going to divide it. 10 divided by 7 equals, what is 10 divided by 7? How many times can 7 go into 10? Your answer is 1. What is your remainder? The remainder is 3. This is the 3, which is the remainder. This 3, the remainder, it is the one that you're going to write there. This one which you have carried, okay, you put it there like that. This is one seven, it's in base seven, okay. So you move on to the next question. What is five plus three? So five plus three is going to give you eight. Eight, all right, that's your answer. Remember, you carried the one, okay, which is one seven. You are going to add it to that eight plus one, which is going to give you nine. So this 9, we don't write it there, no. It's in base 7, okay? 
So what we are going to do, we are going to say 9 divided by 7. This is the best, it's in base 7. We divide it by the base itself. So which is going to give us 1. What is our remainder? Our remainder is 2. Our remainder, which is 2, is the one we write there. Do we have any more numbers to add there? No. So this one, we write it down there. And it ends there. You write your base 7 like that. Okay? So... This is how you can add any other base. You have to divide by the base itself. If it's in base 4, you have to divide base 4. Okay, by the base 4. If it's in base 6, you have to divide by the base itself. That is how you're supposed to, 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 to add the number bases. Okay, so if you remember in my other video, I explained that a number base does not use a number higher than the base itself. So here, that's why we have 6. This is, is in base 7. 6 is the highest number for base 7. You will not find the number 7 itself. Okay? You will not find 8. You will not find 9. To start with subtraction, um, whereby you are subtracting base 10. Okay? Because this is something that we are familiar with. Okay? So, I'm going to explain how we usually subtract. Okay, because the numbers that we use, they're in base 10. So that's why I'm starting with it, and then we go to the other base. So the other base that I'm going to give an example is in base 5. Alright, so here is the number. So here when you look at the place order value as usual, this is, these are 10, these are 1s, 10s, 100s. If we had another number, it would have been 1000s. Could have been 10,000. So we usually start with the ones. Whether you are subtracting, you are adding, you always start with the ones. That is, though, that is where you are supposed to start from. So we'll start from here. We subtract. What is 6 minus 3? Okay? So 6 minus 3, it gives us 3. We go to the next number. What is 2 minus 5? 2 minus 5, it can't, okay? It can't, you cannot remove 5 from 2, which is a smaller number. We can't have negative numbers here, remember that. So, what do we do? We borrow from the next number, okay? So now this 2 has to go to the neighbor there, 5, to borrow from there, okay? So... We'll get 1 from 5, and then when you remove 1 from 5, you are going to remain with 4. You write your small 4 there, and then the 1, you put it there. Okay? So now, so we can remove 5 from 12. So what is our answer when we remove 5 from 12? Our answer is going to be 7. So you put your 7 there. All right? You move on to the next number. You remain with four there. Remember, you borrowed one, you took it to the next number. Okay? So, four, take away four. Your answer is zero. This is how we usually subtract in base 10. Now, how do we do it in base 5? It's just the same thing. The only thing you have to take note is the base itself. Alright? So, here... This is base 5, you can even write 5 there, you can write 5 there, okay, so it's in base 5. Okay, so now, here we have 1 minus 2, okay, 1 minus 2, alright, so these numbers, the same way we subtract, here, it's all, the only difference is just taking note of the base. When you, sub, when you borrow from the next number, it means you've borrowed a base. Alright? So, 1, we cannot remove 2 from 1. 1 is a smaller number. We are going to borrow from what? Eh? We will borrow from this 2. When we borrow, we are going to remain with 1. And then that one we put here. The one that we have borrowed here, it's not the one, the 10 itself, no. That one, it means it's one five, okay? So it is actually a five that we have borrowed from here, this one, okay? So this five, you are going to add plus one, which is the number there which you want to subtract from. 
So you say 5 plus 1, the 1 which is already there, which gives you how much? 6. Okay? So you, don't, you no longer have that 1, but now you have 6. Where you subtract from. So this 6 is the one that you subtract there. Okay? So that is the 6. You subtract the 6. 6 minus 2. What is our answer? 6 minus 2. It's go we are going to get 4. So you write your 4 there. This is what we do. Here you remain with 1. 1 minus 3. Can't. Okay? We can't have negative numbers. Remember that. Alright? So you can't uh, subtract 3 from 1. So what you're going to do, you're going to the neighbor, which is 4. And here you're going to remain with 3. The one that you've borrowed here, it is the 1 uh, fifth. Okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to say, this is the 5 that you've borrowed, plus this same 1, plus 1, which is going to give you 6 again. Okay, so now you can, so you're now dealing with that 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3. What is your answer? Your answer is 3. Write your 3 there. Now here, 3 minus 1. 3 is already a big number. You don't need to borrow from anywhere else. So 3 minus 1, it gives you 2. You write your 2 there. Make sure you include your base. So base 5. So this is how you can subtract number bases. If it's in base 6, whatever number that you borrow, it's the base itself. If it was base 6, would have been adding 6 there. If it was base 9, would have been adding base 9 there. So take note of the base. Don't forget about the base because that is it. what is going to make you to have the correct answer. All right. So this is how you can add and subtract number bases. Use the same method that whether it's in base 3, it's in base 4, it's in base 5, base 2, whatever base. This is the formula that you can use to add or subtract these number bases. Okay, so if you like my video, make sure you subscribe and then don't forget to hit the bell, the notification bell, so that you're notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Also, you can leave a comment in the comment box below and don't forget to share this video, alright? So, in case you did not watch my other videos on number bases, I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description below so that you can watch the other videos on changing number bases from base 10 to another base or from another base to base 10. Alright, so watch out for my next video. I'm going to do another interesting topic, alright? So watch out for that video.